corrupted. Burn the box. Um, my name is Phil Weiss. Um, I'm actually the timekeeper today, so you see what happens when I'm actually not doing my job. Basically, um, I've been asked by Walter to share uh, one idea that um, came out of um, the TEDx Brussels concept. Uh, a few months ago, I got involved with this project, uh, meeting uh, a number of weird and wonderful characters. And uh, actually, when, when Walter turned up at the first meeting, he already had the uh, list of speakers and the venue confirmed. So all we had to do was kind of make everything else work, and that was down to a team of a number of people you've seen. But that got us thinking, if we're going to get TEDx Brussels to get started, how can we make it so that it's more than just a one-off event? So what we want to do is for this to be the beginning, for this to be something that starts a conversation and that gets people sharing ideas together. So we started meeting people, we started talking, and we sat together with a number of people, including the Bulletin and Addict Lab. And from that, we came up with the concept of Imagine a City. Now, today there were some very interesting concepts, and Sirius has some enlightening ideas about what we could do with Brussels. We're actually trying to really tap into your enthusiasm and your creativity. Because, as Ted Strauss will tell you, this is all about the audience. And the group of people that we have today have incredible creativity. There's an amazing diversity of people. And by the way, you can meet with these people on a social network we've created on Ning, so you can see it from the uh, site. So those of you who want to carry on the conversation, I encourage you to, to go there. The concept of Imagine a City was basically to get people to come up with ideas and small ideas, like John said, could be absolutely fantastic, to transform Brussels. And Addict Lab has actually got a network of 4,000 creative people around the world and is also involved. So the idea will be to really get your ideas, the ideas from people outside, to come together and see what can come out conceptually and then to actually put these ideas in practice. If you've seen the bulletin, there was a title saying, Warning, may contain ideas. This was the uh, cover. So they're actually exploring the different concepts that uh, have been discussed today, and they're reviewing some of the ideas already in the pipeline. But the thing will start now, and we hope to get some increasingly incredible, outrageous, or small, but wonderful ideas to get this kind of mayonnaise effect uh, that John was describing. Now today, actually, in the, in the, the issue that uh, was distributed, there's um, a very weird idea that's featured. It's by a PhD student, and it's called Shallow Sentiment Analysis for Brussels. And I'm not sure I understand exactly what it means, but it's about analyzing what people say about Brussels on the web, and through a combination of, I don't know, mathematical formula, you can come up with various uh, sentiments. And in conclusion, the, the, the kind of three things that he came up with was that um, if Brussels was an animal, it would be a toad or a chicken. That's according to a Google analysis. If it was a building, it would be a prison or a school, which is a little bit depressing. And if it was a person, it would be Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> now that, I thought, was weird until I heard Sirius speak. And he started talking about artificial intelligence. And then I made a weird connection because another founder of TEDx Brussels is José. And he launched his first company called Skynet, inspired by the artificial intelligence that would launch Terminator later on. So clearly there's a connection between Skynet, artificial intelligence, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Walter de Brewer. I don't know which one, but if you want to find out, you can go and check on the website. So, Last point, simply go and check out this website, brussellslab.com. It's going to be linked, and we'll be sending you an email with all the ideas uh, and the links so that you can keep the conversation going after this. I thank you for your time. Walter. <laughs>